Oh, hello. I'm live. So welcome. Um, I know several of you just finished with the Nomi Live. Um, I'm Dina. I am with Thule, uh, working off a mirror image right here. I'm going to give just a few minutes for some people to figure out what's going on. I'm going to play with my camera a bit. I have a whole new setup this time. Um, and then we'll get started because I have a lot to go through. So, um, yes, yeah, so Thule, you may be more familiar with us in the outdoor space. So a very well-known brand. It's a Swedish company. Um, dates back to 1942. So a lot of great heritage, um, really great engineering, safety, just really globally known great products. Um, really well known in the outdoor space, like I mentioned. So your car racks, the rooftop boxes, bike racks, ski racks, all of those things. Julia is all about getting you and the things that you love to the places you want to go. From city to summit, we say we can take you wherever you want to go. And entering this stage of your life, that's your children or child. So we're going to start, we're going to do a quick little run through of kind of all of the line of what we call our active with kids line. Um, and then I think I'll probably pop over to the booth after this because I don't have a super long presentation and then we can go into some more things and then I'll be live later this evening as well in the open booth live se segment. Um, so we're going to start with our kind of um, fan favorite using my words. So I have all of our products back here. I'm going to roll them in and out as we kind of talk through. So I'm going to start with our most well-known product in the active with kids space. And this is our jogger. So this is the Thule Urban Glide 2. This is our brand new color that was just launched at the end of last year um, called Cypress Green. It's this beautiful, it's a beautiful color. I don't know how it's coming across on the screen, but it has a nice depthness to it. It's great. We have it on a black frame. You can see here. So this is our jogging option. Um, but also a really great option if you're not a runner. I'm not a runner, and I reach for this stroller a ton with my boys. It's just great for walking in the city. It has these giant wheels. You can see huge wheels on the back, a giant front wheel that swivels. So great for everyday use. If you are a runner, you can lock this front wheel so that when you're running, it's fixed. You're going to lock it in this inward position. And then for everyday use, you just keep it so that it's a swivel. Nice big seat here. All of our stroller seats start at six months. Before then, we do have car seat adapters available. So you can use any of our strollers as a um, more of a travel system. So you pop a car seat on. We have adapters that you pop onto the frame. And you can put a couple of different options of car seats on the strollers. We also have a bassinet for this stroller that you can use. Um, if you want them in the street, we have a nice five point harness seat goes up to about 50 pound weight capacity, which is great. Nice big sunshade. All of our fabrics are UPF 50. So you're going to get amazing sun protection, a little extra pop out ventilation on the side, peekaboo windows, some nice extra features that are great touches on here. We have the piping and the wheels are all um, reflective. So if you are out at night, crosswalk, you're gonna get a little bit of extra visibility. Handle up, down, and then nice, this is your rolling handbrake. So while you're walking, if you're going down a hill, it helps just control it a little bit. And then your parking brake here is nice big down at the bottom, big red brake down here. Um, let's discuss a little bit of jogging safety, jogging 101. So, yes, you can put a car seat on here. Yes, we have a bassinet option. No, you cannot use either of those when you are jogging. If you are jogging with baby, baby is nine months-ish, check with your pediatrician to make sure they have head and neck control for that heavy en endurance. In the seat, directly buckled up. That's the only appropriate way to jog. We'll cover that again later when we get over to our bike stuff, but 
Check with pediatrician before doing strong activity, six to nine months, directly in the seat, no accessories. Getting back around to some nicer functions of the stroller. Huge basket down here. It's a covered basket, which honestly is a feature that I never knew I wanted until I started working at Thule. I was in the baby space for a long time. I have two boys. Um, never knew that was a feature, and I love it so much. It's so great. If you're jogging, it keeps your items inside. Doesn't have a fly out if you hit a pothole or whatever. Um, but if you just go to the park, I can throw my wallet and my keys underneath, and they're kind of out of sight. If it starts to sprinkle, my stuff stays dry. I can act as an extra little diaper bag. I put a swaddle and a couple of diapers in there, just loose, free floating. They're always there when I'm ready to go out with the stroller. And if you don't like it, you unzip it, and there's a little pocket in the front to tuck away. You don't have it. You have your regular toss basket. Great, great feature. Everyone always wants to know about the fold. Tuck that handlebar under. One hand fold here. Self stands. Very nice and easy. Gets it out of the way for storage. Pick it up, throw it in your car. Um, I always kind of suggest to people if they're interested in a, a larger full size stroller like a jogger, go to the store if you can and ask the associate to bring it out to your car and test it in your trunk. Um, that's the best way to know if it's going to fit. If you are putting your car, your stroller in your car every single day and it's a pain, you're going to hate your life. So test out how you're going to store your stroller. Look where in your life it's going to go. Do you live in Manhattan walk up and it has to store on the side? Do you need a little closet to store it in? Can you roll it into your garage? Those are all things that you need to think about when you're looking at a stroller. It's not just about aesthetic or Certain little features, those are fun, but you have to look, what are you gonna be doing with that stroller every day, multiple times a day? So again, this is the Thule Urban Glide 2. We do also have it in a side-by-side -side double for you with more than one child. I have it stored over here. It's locked. Quick and easy. So here we go. Here's our side by side double. Nice thing about side by side double, individual canopies. So one can be covered, one can be open. Individual reclines on the seat. Probably can't see that now that the canopies are down. So again, one can be up, one can be napping, and you can put a car seat on one side. So you can do toddler and newborn. You cannot do newborn twins, but once they hit six months, an amazing twin stroller, weight capacity up to 100 pounds. So really great here. Nice feature. I have traveled with this on an airplane. Check it with your luggage, taking it to Disney. It's an amazing stroller to have in your rotation if you are a more than one child parent. So I'm gonna move on to our newest stroller. This is our Thule Spring. So this was launched almost a year ago in February of 2020. And it is an amazing, great little compact, but still has that full size feel to it. So it's again, a six month seat up to 64 pounds. Before six months, we do have those car seat adapters again. So you can pop a car seat on, great little travel stroller, newborn stroller, full recline, nice, great for napping. Look at this canopy. Again, reflective piping on the side and expandable, amazing coverage, ventilation, ventilation peekaboo back here. Lots of great features thought out in here. Nice tall seat. Again, 64 pounds weight. Nice soft, no rethread harness. So slide up and down. Big basket, just a nice big toss basket. Good for grocery shopping. I mean, you can easily put a roasted chicken and a good 
you know, bag of groceries. If you're walking to do grocery shopping, take it to the mall. Elastic pocket on the back, but the fold, if you are short on space in your life, this fold is amazing. So I'm gonna turn it backwards. The fold is here under the seat. So one-handed fold and those back wheels collapse under. So nothing self-standing, super easy. Everything collapses into the size of that frame. So there's nothing hanging out on the sides, no trip hazards, self-standing, throw it in a closet, keep it at grandma's house. This is a great grandparent stroller. It's easy to use, very intuitive. Lots of fun colors. This is our Magilica blue. The nice, almost denim-y blue. It's great. We have a great color line. Just launched a brand new color today, Misty Rose. So you girl moms out there have your color to be. Lots of features or um, accessories, sorry. This one, I'm pulling out another one over here I have set up. This is our Thule Spring turned into a standing double. So we have our standing board on the back attached by a bar accessory. So this is great for if you do have, I have a seven and a three-year-old. So sometimes I still need that stroller for the three-year-old. So it's nice for my seven-year-old to be able to ride on the back or even the three-year-old if he doesn't want to ride, but it's not a good walking day. Stands on here, great accessory. This is a brilliant accessory. Works on our Thule Spring Stroller and also our Thule Sleep Family. Gonna check some questions. Um, anything real pertinent? Our, our line is so um, just very intuitive to use. Uh, these Strollers, I love them all so much. So, so far I showed you the singles and the side-by-side -side double of the Thule Urban Glide. This, this is my style of stroller for newborn. This is this kind that I love. So this is your modular stroller. This is called the Thule Sleep. And this is the feature that I fell in love with as a first time mom. Flip that seat around and you have baby facing you. So lived in this, I have two summer boys. We walked all the time. This is where I live. Street festivals until maybe 18 months or so. I would have them facing me. They can still see everything around them, but you get to talk, conversate, just make that connection with them love a reversible seat feature again huge canopy upf 50 expandable amazing sun coverage this has a sliding canopy so as they grow taller you can get a little extra head space up at the top adjustable foot rest Face it forward, more of that traditional four-wheel pram look. Um, this is our only four-wheel stroller currently. Um, three-wheel versus four-wheel. You'll have some people argue that the three wheels are more um, maneuverable. I like the look of a four-wheel aesthetically. This is my type of stroller. Um, I also prefer the reversible seat, so that was a big thing most for most reversible seat strollers are four wheeled strollers. You gotta pick one thing to kind of narrow yourself out in the sea of strollers. So if you want a three wheeler, that, that cuts out a ton of strollers right there for you to narrow down your list. Again, we brought over that covered basket. Same features, weather resistant. But this one, I love, you unzip it, pop this back wall out, and you have a giant, huge shopping basket. Amazing. So the other nice feature for the Thule Sleek is one-time purchase, two strollers in one. So you get adapters, 
and you have this quick and easy four little adapters and it turns your single stroller into a tandem double. Lots of different configurations for the seat. Pretty much if you can think about it, it'll work on the stroller. I'm gonna grab my sibling seat. This is our energy red color, nice bright pop. And there you go, double stroller. Great for those that are maybe planning ahead. Um, you can do two twins on here. So if you wanna do two car seats, you can do that as well. We do have car seat adapters for this. Let me grab. As well as a bassinet option, you could do two bassinets on here if you wanted. There you go. Newborn, older child. You can also put the newborn on top and the sibling seat down at the bottom. If you have a fussier newborn, you want them closer to you. If you have a sleepy newborn, put them down at the bottom. They'll be fine. And you can play with your toddler up at the top because they probably need a little more attention so baby will keep sleeping as well. So great stroller that it's convertible, expands for two in one. You can also, if you're crazy enough, Grab our standing board, turns into a triple. So you could have one, two, three, part the whole family down the road with you, and then pack it all back up and throw it in your trunk. I've actually traveled with um, this setup to Europe a couple of times. We have an amazing travel bag, pack it all up, take your car seat on the plane. Done, check it at, at the luggage stand, and then you have the stroller that you know, you know how to pack it up, your kids know, know how to nap in on vacation. So I'm always a proponent of traveling with whatever stroller you normally travel with if you're going on like a long family vacation. A quick little two day trip, on and off work trip, overhead, totally get it. For me though, I like my full size strollers, so great. Love this truly sleek, amazing stroller. And I know I'm going really fast. I'm talking through a lot of things. Um, I'll, I'm gonna go to the booth after this and we can discuss in more detail. Um, I'm just gonna show you our outdoor items while I have a few more minutes. Just reorganize my Tetris game in here with my office. So brand new colors just launched of our bike trailer series. Bring this over here. And our designers are really doing a great job with our new colors. I open all my new boxes and just gasp. They are beautiful, beautiful products. So here I have, this is from our chariot series, our chariot line. So. This is the Chariot Light in Agave, and it really does give you that agave plant idea, really soft sage green almost. And then this is our Chariot Cross Single. It also comes in a double. This is a double, also comes in a single. As you can see side by side, the size difference. This is our Chariot Cross in the Alaska color, which is definitely not reading. It's a nice, really soft like tiffany blue beautiful so what's nice about these is that these are our multi-sport carriers so you get four activities in one product so out of the box you have the four wheel stroller and i do have parents that use these as their stroller from birth we have a baby sling you can put inside it's a great product um, they do collapse, so if you wanted to throw it in your car, you could definitely do that. You cannot use a car seat with these. Um, 
So that's not an option, but we do have a baby sling. So that's your collapse, bring the wheels off. Um, so out of the box, you get the stroller, you get the bike connection, which I have right here, the bike arm, trade out your wheels for the bike arm. Super simple and easy, literally just unclip a button. Um, we give you the extended spoke to put through your rear wheel and the connecting kit to put the hitch on. And I did both mine and my husband's bikes by myself in about 20 minutes. And I was very proud of myself. So I can do it. Anyone can add this to their bike. Very simple. Um, additionally, after strolling and biking, you can buy a jog kit. So turn this into a three wheel jogger. Take the front two wheels off, add your big jogging wheel to the front. So after that six to nine months, you can start jogging with baby. And then you can also do cross country skiing. So that would probably be my preferred method today in Chicago, because we are covered in snow, although it's about negative two degrees. So I don't really want to be outside. But if you know that excites you, go for it. It's a great option. Um, definitely really popular if you are a runner and you want that biking capability, I would look into one of these two families. If you're not a runner or you don't wanna run with baby, um, we do have just more strict bike only um, bike trailers as well. This is nice though, you get a lot of storage options. This has an extra storage bag in the back. Pop it down. Great little cargo basket back there. So great for family adventures. Um, and then, how well you can see them our bike seats so this is just one of our three different styles we have three styles of bike seats we have the Thule ride along family and we have the Thule yep family and then we have this is the Thule yep next family so if you're an entry level bike seater I would go with the ride along, which looks like your more traditional child bike seat with the legs and plastic casing, or the Thule Yep Next. This is what I have on our bikes for our kids. The design of them I think is just beautiful. They have really nice fun colors. This is our mint green, a gray, um, and really pushing so the hard plastic, and then kind of like a croc material on the inside. You have the footrests that are adjustable to fit baby, so it's a nice comfortable ride. A handlebar in the front, so this is our mini. This goes on your front steering wheel, which seems a little odd to us in America, but in Europe it's very popular. Has a lower weight limit, this goes up to about 33 pounds. This is great for baby's first bike rides. They can stay in there probably until about two, really until you can't see over them. They become a sight limit, a um, sight hindrance. But it's nice because your arms are around baby. It's a very cozy feeling for them. That could be an activity very scary and, and unnerving. And you can talk about everything that you're seeing together. Put sunglasses on them, put a helmet on them. And if you're concerned about bugs, we actually have a windshield that we sell accessory as well to kind of help with that. But I love this. We also have this rear seat. So this is more traditional. Either it goes on the frame like this one or goes on the rack if you have a rack on your bike. Clip it on and off, easy on and off access. So if you want to take it off when the kids are not with you, just unclip it and go. They have locks integrated. So if you do park, you can lock them on. No one's gonna steal it from your bike. This has a weight limit of almost 50 pounds. So it's gonna last you a little bit longer. Um, my seven-year-old could still probably fit. Last summer, he, he sat in it a few times. Um, he was kind of just capping out on the size of it. So usually about six years is when this kind of gets done. Um, great, I love a good bike seat. Um, and again, if you have a lot of kids, you could do front, back, and then a trailer on the back of your bike and really go to town. So thank you so much. I'm gonna actually go over to the booth um, and answer questions because there's a lot and I don't wanna run into the next person's time. Um, but yeah, please, I'm going to try to keep going through them. 
please head over to the Thule booth, ask your questions. If you wanna watch the next segment, great. I will also be live this evening during the Open Booth series. I think it's from 5 p.m. Eastern, but check the schedule because I'm in Central Time and I've not been very good with that conversion recently. So um, yes, thank you. You can also message me privately through here. So that would work as well if you have a busy day schedule because everyone does and people have lives still. So have a good one. And um, I'll see you over at the Tulum booth. Thanks.